Did you know adding captions to your videos doesn't have to cost a thing anymore? Canva now lets you do it for free. And I'm gonna be showing you exactly how it works in this video. Now, if you're new here and want to learn how to grow an impactful online business, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are on the back end of Canva. Now, keep in mind that you're able to use this new feature, whether you have a free account or you have the Canva Pro account. So it's great for everyone. Now, what you want to do is you want to head over to your navigation bar right here. And the caption features only works on social media style or video designs. So it's going to work on this one here, social media or videos. It won't work on website presentation, whiteboard docs, or anything else. So keep that in mind. So I'm going to click on social media. And from here, you're able to select which one you want to work with. So I'm going to be doing an Instagram reels where I'm going to be adding caption to it. So this is the one I'm going to pick. But when you come here, pick the one that best suits you based on what type of format you want to add your captions to. So I'm going to click here. It's going to open a new Canva. And now what you need is to upload your actual video. Now, if you've never uploaded a video on Canva, it's really straightforward. All you're going to do is you're going to go to the navigation bar to your left right here. It says design elements, text, brand, click on uploads. From here, you're going to click on upload files, and then you're going to pick your file, your video. You could do this also from a mobile device. Now, once your video has uploaded and it has renders completely downloadable on Canva, you're going to go right here to um, search for it. So images, videos, audios, you're going to click on videos and you should be able to see it here. So this is the video that I'm working with today. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my Canva. Did you know that? No and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to size it so it could fit my actual Canva. Make sure you do that as well. I also recommend just uploading your final edit of your video. It's going to make it a lot easier to add the captions at the end. So once you have your video uploaded, you're going to go back to the nav navigation bar and you're going to go down to text and you're going to go to dynamic text. And right here it says captions. You're going to click right there. Now, what's nice about this is that if you have, let's say several videos, that you want to add captions to, you can actually upload them in the same template. You can have four, five, 10, whatever, however many videos you want. And when you go here to select, it's going to ask you which video do you want to add the captions on? Because I have one video only, is only selecting one. But if I had like three videos here, all three will be here. If you ever try to add the captions, but for some reason it's not showing up for you, it could be that the video is still uploading because that happened to me. So make sure that the video is fully uploaded to Canva. It can take sometimes a little bit longer if your video is long, um, but once it's fully uploaded, it should give you this option automatically. So because I only have one video, I'm just gonna leave it how it is and I'm gonna click on generate captions. And automatically, as you can see, it added the captions for me. Now let's see if the captions are synced with my voice. Did you know that now you can add captions to your videos for free by using Canva? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna break out the entire steps and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Come to the word caption to watch the video now. So it did a really great job with adding the caption, is following my voice so perfectly. So the next step is reviewing your actual captions, because sometimes, especially someone like myself that have an accent, um, the captions could read something that you said and incorrectly put the wrong wording. So one way that you could edit your captions is by clicking up here on captions and you're able to see the actual captions here. When you click on it, it will switch to that part of the video. So right here where it says comment the word caption to watch the video, I could actually come here and I could, you know, put, um, quotation marks around it to kind of highlight that word and I'm good. And then I could maybe put exclamation point at the end right here, but this looks good. If I, let's say Canva was lowercase, I will go in here and fix it and make it uppercase. So you could definitely edit this, which is really, really nice. 
Once you're done with editing, you could go ahead and close. Now, another thing that you could do, which is really nice, is that you could change the font, you could change the effects, and you could change the color, which is really important, especially if you're trying to put the colors of your brand, right? So the way that you do this is, it's going to do it by section, so keep that in mind. But if I go ahead and click on this and I select this, I could go to effects and I could switch it. Right now, by default, is selecting the effect with the actual background. I like it with the background because I feel like it just makes it easier for people to read. So if you want to keep it with the background, but maybe you just want to change the color of the background, you could just click here. You could add your hex number here for your branding colors. You could pick a different color if you wanted to, or you could pick your color palette. If you have Canva Pro, you're able to add your color palette, making it easier when you're designing to have all of those colors available for you right away, right? So if I wanted to add my color palettes, I could just go ahead and add them. And then I could also change the actual white to something darker to make it easier to read. So that's what I would do right there, right? Now, if you do a color a change here, you will have to go ahead and move this around to a, a, diff, a different section of the video and also change this as well because it changes by sections as you can see right here. So I will go back to effect. Again, I will go ahead and change this to my color that I picked earlier, my color palette. Then I will go ahead and change the font to black so it could stand out. And then I will go ahead and do that for every section. And keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to just change the background color. You can actually change the actual effect of it. So let's say that I wanted to change the effect. I don't want the background, but maybe I want the outline. I could do that. I could just go ahead in here and select outline. Let's say I go ahead and pick, let me see. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and select it, right? Like I said earlier, select outline. And what I would do, depending on the background, because you want to make sure that your text is some, something that people could actually read, um, you could do an outline. So you can make the outline a little bit thicker, like I just did here, and that will make it stand out a little bit more in the background. You could use any of these effects. You could play around with it and see what works better for you. So you could do this one if you wanted to. You could do this one if you wanted to. That one, but I think the one with the outline for me personally, um, looks better because it's easier to read. So again, I will make the thickness a little bit thicker and I would do that. But you could play around with this and change the effect, change the color for your branding. And you could do a little bit more if you wanted to as well. They have animations. So if you wanted to add animations, you can. As you can see, you can add the animation for the text to come to the side, for it to fade. Uh, for it to kind of like swipe, for it to pop, which is really cool because you could go ahead and add that and you could start implementing those changes to your actual captions as well. So there's a lot of things you could do with it. Just go in here, play around with it, be creative. Once you're happy with your final results, let's say that you're like, okay, this is good to go. The way that you download it is you go up here on share you go to download, you will keep it as an MP4 video, and then you just go ahead and click on download and it will be ready for you to use on whichever social media platform you actually optimized it for. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that this tutorial was helpful when it comes to adding captions to your videos with Canva. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more tips on growing your online business. And before you go, check out these additional videos on the screen for more tools and strategies to level up your content. I will see you in the next video.